Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Builderment. Let's get back to it. Oh, I should mention, yeah, this game is going to release October 24th, 2023 on Steam. Started as a mobile game, but it's coming to PC. Lots of fun. We got off to, we're off to a pretty good start. We're making some cash. But the last episode, we were looking at the tech tree, and we noticed there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of items in the tech tree that require iron gears. Um, especially this chain down here that's going to give us faster belt speed. Uh, that's going to be a big deal. That's going to help us raise cash, all kinds of stuff. So let's do it. Let's uh, focus on iron gears. I think I mentioned last episode, I'm just looking at kind of the iron deposits over in this area off to the, uh, I guess, west or the left side. Got a big iron deposit here, another one here, another one here. I'd like to get a belt that's just saturated with uh, iron gears coming in this direction. So let's get that started. We have cash for a lot of belts. Let's do it. I think, wish I could build these facing or heading in the, towards the right, <laughs> but doing building them from this other direction. Let's see if they let me do that. If I click this, do I have any opportunity to extend this way? I don't. All right. We'll just change direction as we go. We want a pretty long belt here. I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit. Boom. Where are we? we Gotta still have a ways to go. Oh man, we're gonna run right into that ore deposit. Uh, that's all right. All right, I'm gonna extend some more. Fill that and then I'm gonna select all of this so we can change the direction. From here, it looks like. Okay, that looks good. Ooh. You hold down, I think it's the shift key while you scroll, you can tilt the map. All right, let's get on it. We need to turn iron ore into ingots and turn ingots into gears. Um, we need to get that production started like right now. How do we want to do it? Uh, let's just dive in. Get some extractors going here. Boom. One, two, three. I'm just using three kind of random three to one smelter. Not sure if that's the ideal ratio or not. I want you guys to come out this way and then head out here, eventually up. Belt gets rotated. And belt here. Rotate this guy down and rotate this one. Those guys are all dumping on that. Let's get a uh, smelter down. Uh, furnace, I should say. And let's plunk this guy down kind of early. And I think it's going to be, I got to pick a recipe. Ironing it. I hope it's just iron. <laughs> let's see what the gear recipe is. Uh, I think it's workshop, right? I think it's the workshop. Drop this guy in. We may change this design a little bit later. The feeling in order to scale, we're going to want to do something different. Okay, yeah, two iron ingots gets us an iron gear. Um, that's what we want. Do we want to move this guy over and have two smelters feed into it? 
Let's try that. I'm going to move you just a bit there. I need to extend this belt. That. Make sure this guy still has his recipe. He does. And let's make sure this guy kicks out gears. Looks like he is. Last time we moved one, it seemed to stop working. Um, we did unlock an upgrade for the miners. Let's, um, let's take advantage of that with a couple of these guys. If I go under details, you can hit tab. Uh, there's tier two. It's going to cost us 200 coin. And let's do it. Do it. May not be the best use of cash right now. I'm doing it kind of just to do it. All right, there's some gears. Let's maximize and do more, 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 more. So copy. Actually, I'm going to go with the tier one extractors since we're running a little low on cash. You, this guy, and this guy. Copy a belt, bring a belt down here. Round. You can connect up that way. And kind of the same thing, right? Copy that. Uh, no, I think I wanted to actually rotate this one, right? I think that's what I was envisioning. And it's kind of hard to predict what we're going to do long term because these are all going to get productivity bonuses. So let's clear this stuff out for now. Oops, get off of that. Escape. Like this, just hit delete. It's not going to work. I think eventually this will be just a big boss full of ingots and then we'll pull off and feed a line of um, workshops to make the gears. But for now we'll go with, I think, I don't know. It looks like this is going to back up, right? Yeah, it sure does. Let's, um, go back to the original plan. Go to that. Copy this. Boom. I should have the recipe and let's do more, do more, do more, do more. Two, three, do we this guy? Up. Okay, I'm going to copy these extractors. Down, down, down. Belt like that. I have a belt here. Boom. And I'm not sure why that first belt in the chain is always oriented um, opposite the way I want it. This is backing up because these are the upgraded miners. Uh, this one's wrong too. Let's rotate that guy. And then copy. Boom and copy. Boom. I uh, may need to delete this belt. We had a piece of ore slip through. Let's see, can I move this? Maybe if I just move this guy down. M. Wanted to let that little nugget of ore go through, but it doesn't look like it did. We're in good shape now. Yeah, this guy's producing gears now. Hey, more of the same. More of the same. One. Three. Basically want to get that belt just absolutely loaded with um, 
with gears before we move on to the next task. We need a ton of these. Belt. Doom. Okay. Okay, these guys all look to be dumping in the right direction. Let's get that copied. This copied. Ash is starting to climb back up. We could probably upgrade one of these. Let's upgrade one of the miners on these other lines just to try and make to maximize, make sure these guys are always busy. So I can tab to open upgrade there. That one's got at least one upgraded and two that are level ones. Same thing here. And this bottom one will do the same thing. How about we upgrade this guy? Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I want that saturated though. What else we got? Um, it's gonna be hard to get at this guy here. Um, I could throw that on this belt. Yeah. It's gonna go down with these. I think I got a way to do it. Let's uh copy the level one. Tractor. We can go down, down, down. These ahead of time. Um, what would look better coming straight down and then across probably. And let's do the same thing. Let's upgrade one of these. We're starting to run a little low on cash. Let's do it. And we've got an issue here. This guy is rotated wrong. Now these gears coming into the research hub are not generating any cash for us. That's a long run. Oh man, that's a long, <laughs> that's a long run. This side is generating cash for us. Pretty much all of this is generating cash for us, except maybe the frames. But these gears are probably all going in towards um, our research requirements. Like this guy needs 2,000 iron gears. We've got two in there so far. Um, and I think this guy is the same thing, yeah. So we'll obviously do the belt stuff probably first before we bother with the gear statue. But we know we need tons of gears, so I'm going to keep working on saturating this belt with gears. Getting a little better. And then remember, as we upgrade the belts, we're going to be able to put a lot more stuff on here. We're going to be able to upgrade these machines as well. Let's keep at it. We've got one, two, three. We've got this guy. Yeah, this one, this one. I think we can just kind of come out. Oh, wait a second. This guy right here. We need to get at this one, right? So I'm going to copy an extractor. One down there. This one, this one, this one will squirt out. This one we'll deal with later. Need belt. Okay, 
field. Copy, copy. Make sure these guys are connected up. We have this guy, this guy. Um, now I'm getting confused. This one is supposed to rotate like that. We have one, two, three. This guy we're going to have to change because we have room right here for another one. It's deep. This one I'm going to rotate. We've got this one, this one, and this one all feeding this belt. And we've been upgrading one out of the set. So let's keep with that. Upgrade that guy. Two, three, one, two, three. They each have their own track. And they're all spitting out gears. Okay, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Let's keep moving. Now we've got some that we've abandoned. We have this one, we have that one. How do we want to do it? We could sneak out of this, this. These two, let's do it. I'm going to bring these two nodes down. That one's going up. This one we'll get to later. I'm going to rotate him up. Grab a belt. Not great. Okay, those will get smelted. And what do I have to wear out? This guy, of course. We go the wrong way. And we want to upgrade one of these if we can. Tab, take it. Okay, that's more gears. We need to keep going. We need to keep going. We have done this guy's free this guy is free this guy is free I oh, know there's two here yeah three hmm sure we can leverage each and every little ore deposit like these three need to go together do it Cash, not great. Two, three. I'm leaving the spaces just for looks. We're not a cash here. Again, none of these are going to add up to cash for us, I don't think. Unless we don't take the upgrade. Oh, let's do this one right here. This is going to get us the belt splitter. And it's going to get us underground belts. Belt splitter is what I'm most interested in. Take that upgrade. And we'll start saving up gears for the belt speed upgrade, 10%. That should tick up pretty fast. And once we get the belt speed upgrade... That's going to mean more cash for us because this belt is going to become less compressed and we'll be able to move more of this product through faster cash. Whoops. Yep. Yeah, let's focus on seeing if we can keep this belt as saturated as we can get it. Like I said, we may rework this <laughs> later. We'll see. Um, but we're going to be able to upgrade all these miners. And I think upgrade these furnaces too. I'm not sure when we unlock that in the tech tree. All right. For this one, we need to finish the belts. Boom, boom. And of course.
Whereas this one doesn't like to be oriented correctly for some reason. Okay, those are all going, and then we've been upgrading one of the three miners every time. To do it. How's this looking? Smelters look like they're fine, right? This looks like they're fine, although this guy is backed up because we have three upgraded miners. No one else is backed up. We could spend cash upgrading one more miner per chain here. Let's, let's not do that yet. Okay, let's do more. Let's do more, more, more. What do we have? Do I have any miners here that are not hooked up? I have one, right? This guy. These guys are all taken care of. Everything here is... Good. I've got one node sitting here, <laughs> sitting over here. Uh, that's kind of a bummer. Miners are cheap. Let's just throw this on this belt. Can't really route this. Uh, yeah, I can. Let's copy this one. Put one there and then let's get rid of these. We'll route that miner some other direction. We'll just stick with this formula of three miners per furnace. All right, I've got one there and two here. I can kind of. Three this way with the belt, right? Do it. Let's do it. This guy's already facing up. Boom. Needs to rotate this guy, right? One, two, and three. Upgrade one of them. I think we have another upgrade available. Look at the belt speed. Let's do it. That's going to mean cash for us, I think. Take it. I believe that upgrades all the belts. I don't think we need to like upgrade each section. That doesn't look like it. All right, the work continues. One, two, three, let's do these guys. Boom, boom. Grab a section of belt. That maybe? Uh yeah. Melt that guy. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I had this selected and I hit the rotate key, so let's fix that. There we go. That's what the one I wanted to rotate this belt up. And then copy that guy hooked up and get that guy hooked up. Yeah, look at our cash starting to climb up faster now already. I like it. We're going to upgrade one of these guys like we've been doing. Okay, that guy's spitting out bars. This guy's spitting out gears. Check out our belt. Check out our belt. It's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, can we get something out of here? These look like they're almost wrapped, right? I run out of room. Let's do these three.
Boom. Okay, that guy's going, that guy's going, and I think that guy's kicking out too. All good, upgrade one. Oh, I already did. Uh, did I? Oh, I copied tier two extractors. Oh well. These guys are gonna be overpowered until we can upgrade our furnaces, I think. Yeah, it'll get backed up just like this. Copied a, a tier two extractor, didn't mean to do that. All right. These guys, we need to find a way to wiggle their stuff out. And we're going to have the same issue here with these guys. I don't know if you can put a belt over a deposit. Hmm. What could we do? What could we do? These three could all dump onto here, and we can route that around. We're probably going to... We're probably going to trap some resources that we're not going to be able to get to. Not the end of the world, right? It's a, it's a huge map. I'm trying to grab every little piece, though. How do we want to do that? These three could be going up, right? We have more room up. This is the, one of the guys that's trapped inside, and these two. So let's do. I'm going to copy your one extractor this time. I'm going to do this guy, which is trapped. He's got no other way. And this one and this one, I think, are all kind of forced to be internal. These guys can shoot up and we'd be fine. Same thing with these. So we might be in good shape here to use every little ore node. we got to wiggle a belt through here. I'm just going to copy one. Got to go up, round, up. Round up. And I'm leaving the spaces just for the look. I don't like uh, compact factories too much. Boom. Boom. Upgrade on one of these miners and make sure they're all throwing ore where they need to. They're not. This guy needs to rotate. That guy. Okay, we're at 740 cash. Let's see how close we are to the next belt upgrade. Ooh, we've got a backup here. Oh, that's that one. That's the one that we uh we put down three tier two miners for extractors. Take a look at the tech tree and see how things look right now. We need a thousand gears to get the next belt speed. Again, this belt speed means cash for us, basically. Um, what else do we have to look forward to? We need to get start making copper wire. And we're not going to bother with this gear statue for quite a long time. These are decorative rocks. I don't think we'll do much decorating. We'll see. If we end up with a bunch of extra time, maybe we will. Copper wire. That's the next serious thing we need to work on. Um, and probably decompress this other side of the belt so we can start making copper wire. Um, we could throw a cons... Oh, we have splitters now, too. That's going to help. But let's, um, let's finish... Sorry. Rolling while I'm moving, and that rotates the uh, screen. We've got a few more to tackle here, right? Two more. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Let's just finish this out. And um, maximize this belt with gears as best we can. We've got six more miners to place. I think this is going to be fairly easy. So copy a tier one extractor. Go boom. I'll rotate this one. Boom. And this guy face this way. The belt. Not crazy about feeding directly into that belt, but I guess we're gonna have to. Fine. Like that. Boom. Copy our furnace. Copy our workshop. The recipes go with the copy, so that's nice. 
rotate these belts to the direct correct direction. And we need one more section of belt to get this guy online. Boom. There's one, two, three. And we'll upgrade one of these. Uh, to keep the smelters busy. And we got three more to do. That's a piece of cake. Uh, I guess we'll go, we can go up with these. Here, one extractor. Boom, boom, boom. Section of belt. I'm not gonna start down here, I suppose. You. Um. Copy the furnace, copy the workshop, and hook these guys up. Not sure why that belt rotates. It feels like a bug, but maybe not. Last thing is upgrade. Boom. All right, let's take a look and see. Check it out. Mission accomplished, right? Okay, we've got a belt that's saturated with gears. Once we get the next upgrade, which shouldn't be too long because we are feeding gears like crazy into this thing. Um, we should see our cash increase. How far are we from the upgrade? Real soon. Um, next episode, we'll let this thing run and we'll take the upgrade. That's going to increase our rate of cash. Then next episode, I think we're done. We'll move off gears for now. We can always upgrade all of these miners and then eventually the smelters too, right? The workshops, can we upgrade those yet? Not yet. Um, let's look and see. We know we're moving pretty good on the belt upgrades. What about these things? To get a tier three extractor, we need metal frames. I'm wondering about the, um, the furnaces really. What does it take to upgrade the furnaces and the workshops? Let's see if we can find those upgrades. That unlocks the machine shop. Okay, workshop tier two. This is the gears. We need copper wire. So we'll probably work on copper wire next episode. That'll get us the workshop tier two. That'll also get us the machine shop. I'm guessing the machine shop is where we get the, um, the plates, this iron plating and metal frames. Maybe a workshop is iron. The workshop is iron plating. The machine shop gets us the metal frames. The metal frames get us faster extracting. Yeah. So we got a bunch of upgrades to do. Let's grab the next, um, Belt upgrade here. Boom. And more percent speed. Take a look. Pretty sure that's all of our belts, right? Let's just look and see. There's no building different tiered belts. Yeah. I didn't pay attention to what the throughput was originally on these. That's 180 items per minute. Yeah, that's definitely upgraded from what we saw. So cash, yeah, cash is continuing to climb. This is still, <laughs> this belt is still all backed up. Don't worry, we're going to get into reworking this. But early on, this was a quick way for us to get cash. But yeah, not bad. Let's leave this episode here. We achieved our objective for now. We're pretty much saturated on gears. And we're going to have upgrades that should allow us to keep this belt saturated even as we upgrade the belt speeds. Um, and we're going to go after those upgrades here soon. So we can upgrade the workshops and the furnaces. We already have upgrades to the miners that we're not using yet. So yeah, that's it for this one. For Analysis Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this Let's Play on a game called Builderman. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool game. I'm liking it. I am playing it kind of a shapes IO style or just shapes style with one central hub. That's by choice. We could be putting more research labs all over the place if we wanted to. They're not cheap, but I'm just choosing to do it this way just for fun. 
But yeah, I hope you enjoy this series. If you do, please remember to give the content a thumbs up. And also want to thank GladderCat patrons and channel members for their support. Appreciate that greatly. And with that, I'll see you all in the next episode.